Welcome to EG Signal Processing course today. The birth of electroencephalography is quite an interesting history. You might be surprised that it all began with the German psychiatrist Hans Berger's accident. During military training, Berger fell from horseback and nearly lost his life, while his sister, far away, felt uneasy and sent a telegram. This coincidence sparked Berger's curiosity. Could the brain emit some kind of signal? The seemingly supernatural question eventually led to concrete scientific breakthroughs. 1924 marked the beginning of modern EG, when Berger first successfully recorded human brain electrical signals. This feat was extremely difficult at the time. In a rare opportunity, he used a device called a string galvanometer to capture the weak electrical activity of the brain during surgery. In these recordings, Berger discovered two special brainwave patterns, about 10 hertz oscillations that appear when a person is awake but relaxed, later called alpha waves, and high-frequency fluctuations that appear when a person is tense or focused, known as beta waves. In 1929, Berger published this discovery officially. However, the scientific community initially did not recognize his work, and this breakthrough was underestimated for a long time. It wasn't until the 1930s that EJ technology began to gain wider recognition. British neurophysiologist Edgar Adrian improved the experimental equipment and successfully verified the brainwave patterns discovered by Berger, finally establishing EG in the scientific community. During this stage, EG gradually transformed from a theoretical tool to a medical diagnostic method. In 1935, American neurologist William Gray Walter applied EG to epilepsy research, revealing the characteristics of abnormal brain discharges during epileptic seizures. This discovery was significant for epilepsy patients, helping doctors diagnose and classify epilepsy more accurately. Meanwhile, EG also made major breakthroughs in sleep research. In the 1950s, scientist Eugene Azarinsky and Nathaniel Kleitman discovered rapid eye movement, REM sleep, through EG for the first time. This discovery not only revealed that sleep has different structural stages, but also provided a scientific basis for studying dreams and states of consciousness. For the first time, we could objectively observe and study human sleep processes rather than relying solely on subjective reports. This can be described as an important leap from simply dreaming to scientifically interpreting dreams. Entering the latter half of the 20th century, technology embraced a digital revolution. Traditional paper electroencephalograms were gradually replaced by digital systems, significantly enhancing the ability to store, process, and analyze signals. Researchers no longer needed to analyze brain wave patterns on paper strips, but could use computers for automated processing. The emergence of digital EG gave rise to an important research direction, event-related potentials, abbreviated as ERP. This technique can capture the brain's electrophysiological response to specific events, extracting meaningful signals from background noise through averaging processing. ERP is like finding a specific sound in a noisy environment, providing a precise tool for studying cognitive processes. During the same period, by interpreting brain electrical signals, scientists develop systems that allow people to directly control external devices with their thoughts. By the end of the 20th century, EG based systems could help paralyzed patients control computers or mechanical devices through thought. This technology not only brought hope to rehabilitation medicine, but also moved us one step closer to scenes from science fiction movies. Entering the 21st century, EJ technology achieved strong integration with other neuroimaging techniques, such as functional magnetic resonance, imaging near-infrared spectroscopy, imaging and magnetoencephalography. This integration allows us to simultaneously obtain brain activity data with high temporal and spatial resolution, providing a more comprehensive tool for studying complex cognitive functions. At the same time, the emergence of wearable EEG devices has made brain electrical signal acquisition more convenient. Today, consumer-grade EEG devices have entered the lives of ordinary people, applied in areas such as sleep monitoring, attention training, and mental health management. Imagine a simple headset that can not only tell you about last night's sleep quality, but also remind you when to relax your brain. This has indeed brought the benefits of brain science research to daily life. Looking back at the development of EG, we see scientists' tireless efforts between exploration and application, from Berger's first recording of brain electrical signals to today's widespread application of EG in medical diagnosis, cognitive science, and human-computer interaction. 
this technology has become an important window for exploring the human brain. Although we still have many unsolved mysteries about the brain, e.g. as a key tool for exploring consciousness and cognitive processes, will continue to play a crucial role in the path of brain science. In the next lesson, we will delve into the basic principles of e.g. signal processing. By mastering these techniques, you will be able to discover valuable information from seemingly chaotic brain waveforms, just as Berger did a hundred years ago, exploring the mysteries of human cognition. Thank you, everyone.